Oh, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And we survived a hurricane, uh, which is great. We got power restored. So back in the studio making some videos. And thank you for all of you guys' prayers and, and kind words. I do appreciate that. Uh, we didn't sustain a whole lot of damage. And uh, things are good. Our community is recovering. Uh, so that is fantastic news. But let's go ahead and talk about what happened to the last time a uh, person from Minnesota was on a Democrat presidential ticket. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tim Walz is an absolute horrid uh, candidate, uh, just, as long as Kamala Harris. This, this ticket is a straight dumpster fire. And if any Americans are really paying attention to any of their policies, they would actually see that. Uh, they are very, very pro-abortion. They are up into the moment that the baby is coming out of the bomb, but they can still take it out. Um, they are very uh, big in the transing the kids, uh, and taking away parental rights, uh, of course, uh, among other things, right? They, they're they so, so terrible in so many different ways. They try to paint this uh, picture that Tim Waltz is some old, uh, old cuddly old dad that owns a gun. Yeah, lots of leftists own guns. <laughs> that doesn't make them pro Second Amendment. That doesn't make them, that makes them pro. Many times these uh, leftist Democrats who own a gun are very pro statist uh, to where the state are the only ones that are allowed to have the guns and the citizens are not. Anyway, this is what happened last time somebody was on a Democrat ticket that that ran on the presidential ticket. That's right. It was all the way back in um, 1984 with Reagan versus Walter Mondale. Um, and he was from Minnesota. He was uh, the pick. And the only states that <laughs> broke for him was Minnesota and Washington, D.C. Uh, um, President Reagan had a huge, huge victory over him 525 to verse 13 now, now obviously i'm a realist i know that's not going to be the result in this election but there is history to suggest that people from minnesota who run on these presidential tickets typically don't do very well they get wiped out just like it did here with reagan uh back in 1984 that's the most recent uh person who had been on the democrat ticket from uh minnesota and that's what absolutely happened to them they got annihilated now, granted, Tim is the vice president on the ticket, but nonetheless, there is history for that. And that's what we have here. So just uh, want to uh, kind of, um, you know, bring that little tidbit of history up as far as what happens with those these people from Minnesota that run. It is not that there's bad people in Minnesota, right? There's lots of great people. But don't forget, uh, Tim Watts allowed his state uh, main city to burn for four days straight during the BLM riots, um, refused to deploy the National Guard to to protect the uh, businesses and, and homes of people during those riots, refused to uh, have those people arrested. And the ones that they were arrested, Kamala Harris posted bail links for them to be uh, bailed out. So now you have uh, on the head of the ticket, uh, the person who is posting links for these criminals to be bailed out after burning down Tim Waltz uh, cities after Tim Waltz allowed them to burn him down. This is a dumpster fire of a ticket. Anyway, uh, pass this info along to your friends and family if you uh, feel uh, obligated. Obviously, uh, don't forget to check out my social media down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day.